It's the first Sunday of April 2012, and our space dollars are made of plastic, and I can see you through them. Welcome to Canada. I am going to answer a question today, and it's a question that at least one friend of mine asked me, thus I'm going to make a whole vlog about it. That question is one of BotCon 2012. It happens this month. And I have not been very clear on whether or not I'm going to be able to go, because I didn't know if I'd be able to go for a while. And unfortunately, some of the communicative breakdown that I feel has happened between uh, myself and some other people and the folks who run BotCon kind of nullified a lot of my interest in trying to push really hard to go there, aside from the fact that a lot of my friends are there. Which is the reason why I still tried to go there. That end, I also kind of want to maintain my... This year, I believe, 13-year streak of going to BotCons, because I totally have a life. So the question is, am I going to make it to BotCon 2012? And the answer is, yes, I will. Hopefully. If I can get my passport renewed before about two and a half weeks from now. So I'm not going to be there for the entire like, span of the event. I'm going to be arriving really late Thursday night and leaving extremely early at about 6.30 in the morning, Monday morning. Probably not going to sleep Sunday night, because I am really enjoying the classes I'm doing, and I don't want to miss many of them, so I'm trying to minimize how much stuff I'm going to be away for. Um, this is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, I've, I'm still kind of looking forward to BotCon, you know, despite not being totally into the exclusives. I don't, dis like, dislike them to the point of hatred. Uh, the palette is nice. I like blue and white, but... They aren't really, like, getting me jazzed, and as I said, it's been kind of a bummer uh, over on WTF and TFW uh, reporting on fun pub news. <laughs> Most of the time, it's not been very fun. Uh, it's gotten a bit more fun of late, uh, like the whole fan art thing. Thank goodness that was resolved, because uh, that time, I really do not think anyone involved actually was happy about that happening, aside from, like, the one guy at Hasbro Legal who wrote the memo. I'm kind of guessing what's happening here. I got no proof, but that's kind of how I'm putting it together in my head. But uh, yeah, it's a bummer. Hopefully, Fun Pub will uh, be on the up and up and be some dudes that I'm, like, once again happy to be talking to. I don't know. It's been a bummer. Uh, I have, I've been really down about uh, how much I feel the communication has broken down in, in very negative ways. And uh, unfortunately, you know, I've, I've tried to do what I can and hopefully dudes over there can also do what they can. <sighs> anyway, that aside, um, I'm also recording the audio for some- Whoa! These guys. I'm also recording some audio for uh, the Glios videos, and then after that I'm probably gonna do Prime Wheel Jack, cause uh, he's cool. And someone sent him over this way, so I kinda wanna fast track him a little bit. Something else I might fast track, this is kinda weird. I was at the 80s uh, Toy Expo slash HeCon uh, the other weekend. I got a video I'm putting it together for that thing. Uh, mutter, mutter, mutter. It's uh, kind of lengthy, a lot of just experimental stuff shooting the show floor. There's going to be two interviews there as well, uh, which should be fun. But I met a guy who was putting these things together. And he was kind of a neat dude, and these were not very expensive, so I bought a couple. I uh, don't know when I'm going to review them, but I'd like to do them maybe sooner than later. Which, at my current pace, means hopefully I can do them sometime in 2012. The reason why I'm out in Toronto is going well, as well. I'm having, uh, as I said, a really good time with these glasses. And, uh, while unfortunately it has, like, given me even more stuff to do that isn't making videos for YouTube or Blip, it has been very enriching and fulfilling, so, uh, I've been enjoying that. And I'm still trying to get content made here and there, so... Hope that you guys are having a lovely first third of 2012, and uh, I'm going to run off. Um, I, I still got BotCon 2011 footage that I want to cut together. I also I have a couple conventions from the last year that I'm probably going to cut together whenever I realize that they're sitting on a hard drive that's plugged in. So um, I know that annoys some people to see untimely convention videos, so to you guys, I can only say I'm so very sorry. <sighs> Bye bye No, wait! I almost forgot. There was something I wanted to mention about the V-Build and the V-Paint and the V-Stickering and the V-Whatever. Um, I am going to try something new with V-Builds sometime, and it's going to be a lot stranger than it has before. Uh, but it's something I've really wanted to experiment with, and I don't know if you noticed, but there's a thing back... I'm looking at the viewfinder right there. That's going to be a part of it. Um, so I, I, I've, I've uh, been doing live streams now and then on, on Ustream primarily because that's the one I've had the easiest time using. I don't really have any 
preference in streaming sites. Ustream is just the one that I find the easiest to use. Um, if you are going to go and uh, be an audience member on a Ustream stream, though, be sure to get ad blocker because Ustream ads are the worst. But uh, that's going to be a thing I'm going to try. If you want to know uh, any more of what I'm talking about or, or just be aware of when streams may happen, um, I generally just announce them on Twitter. Because uh, I don't have this YouTube streaming thing that I saw flying around a couple months ago. So Ustream is currently where I'm doing it. If, if the YouTube streaming thing ever becomes like opened up to everybody, I might try it out over here too. But uh, I want to try something new with V-Builds because... Um, I'm feeling stagnated on the whole idea of I'm just gonna ramble to myself while I put model kits together and whatnot. So I, I want to try something new. So that might happen sometime this month. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I wanted to throw that out there as well. And uh, also, I think I'm gonna just start cross posting V builds from now on over on the the Blip channel. Um, I've already been uh, doing some YouTube retro posts which uh, I didn't really want to do at first, but now it just seems like it's a logical way to go about doing things. So uh, some, some older reviews, actually, I want to try to find the footage. I can't find the footage for my review of Universe Hound from way, way back. I want to do uh, a little bit of color correction on that and change the opening to be the current opening. And um, i got to dig it up. I don't know where it is. Someone help me! Ah. Uh...